What happened to British aristocrat Lord Lucan? People have been scouring the globe for this guy for 49 years after his children's 29 year old nanny was found murdered in 1974. But here's the thing Lord Lucan, who was declared dead in 1999, might have just been discovered living in Australia thanks to AI facial technology. Lord Lucan, whose real name was John Bingham, was the seventh Earl of Lucan and a major socialite of British aristocracy at the time. He was wealthy, popular, and charismatic, and he was said to have an appetite for luxurious and decadent things like Russian vodka, powerboats, and cars. Those indulgences also included gambling, and thanks to to his vice, he found himself in debt, staring down a divorce from his wife and without custody of his kids. On the night of November 7, 1974, Bingham's wife, Veronica, found the nanny, Sandra Rivet, lying dead in the basement of her home outside London, bludgeoned by a lead pipe. Veronica claimed that she was also attacked, but managed to escape to a nearby pub, where she said a murderer was in her house and had killed the nanny. Many have speculated that Bingham snuck into the house to kill his wife, but ended up killing Rivet by mistake while in the dark of the basement. A year after the incident, an inquest jury found Bingham guilty of Rivet's murder. But after the night of November 7, 1974, Bingham was allegedly never seen or heard from again. Last year, though, computer scientist and University of Bradford professor Hassan Yugale developed a type of AI facial recognition technology he says might have actually found Bingham. Yugale, with the help of Sandra Rivet's son, Neil Berriman, compared photos of Bingham from the time of the murder to photos of a man living in a Buddhist community in Australia who was suspected to be the aristocrat. After comparing the photos, Yugale's algorithm came to the conclusion that these pictures belong to the same individual or someone who looks extremely like them, like identical twins. Yugale says that while it's impossible to definitively say it's Bingham, the issue should be certainly looked into further. According to The Guardian, the caregivers for the 87-year-old Australian denied he was Bingham, and it's unclear if any further investigations will occur. But for now, people will continue to wonder 